So um, usually on a generic channel on any, you know, on the Wikimedia projects, there are certain features that you can enable to sort of enhance your user interface, for example. So um, if you go to preferences, you will, you will see so many features that you can actually enable. I'm zooming in a little bit. So for example, my name is John Preferences, and I'm on Wikipedia. There are, you know, features for appearances, editing, recent changes, watch lists, gadgets. So in gadgets, I can enable so many things. For example, I can enable, um, I can add two new drop down boxes below the editing summary box with some useful default summaries. So, you know, you can actually go to preferences and then just look at some of these features and see which ones would make sense for you to enable. So aside from now, most of all of, uh, most of these features, most of these gadgets started out as user scripts. And user scripts are, you know, JavaScript programs that people write and it's based on the Wikimedia project itself. So it's not, the code isn't external, it is just within the wiki pages. And that allows people to sort of do so many things that they wouldn't you know, be able to do with the regular interface. And um, like, you know, changing the appearance of, or the behavior of the editing interface. Um, you know, for example, like to show the edits and history tabs for both main talk pages, you know, while viewing the other one, that's one thing that you can do. Um, changing the appearance or behavior of encyclopedic content, like highlighting um, highlighting links that that occur in more than one article. So if you see an article and then you can write a, a code, a script to actually highlights those interwiki links that link to two pages or three pages or four pages, for example. So people write these little, little snippets of code to do these things. And then when they become mature and when a lot of people are using those scripts, then they are adopted later as gadgets. And that is where you can find so many of these gadgets. But not all of the user scripts are actually here yet. So that means, you know, quite a number of them, very interesting ones, are still in the abyss and you need to figure out where to find them when you're able to enable and install it. So I will just show you how to install two of them that I actually do like. One of them is, um, it's a pop-up that allows editors to update Wikidata from the Wikipedia article itself. Um, to do that, let's start all over. I created this uh, username because I want to start from scratch for people to see how it works. Um, you need to have created a page called your commons.js. So first of all, I need to have this page. It's called common.js. So I would likely not have it already, but I want to create it. So I create this page, and that is where you are going to host all of, you know, the script that you are, that you are installing. So this is more like, you know, the space for you to install any script that you want to. So I'm just going to create it without adding the script. Is it commons.js or commons? 
Yeah, so it's common without an S. Okay. Yeah, without an S. So now I have this page. So maybe you could also create yours, your own command of JS page. And let's go to English Wikipedia. Let's go to a random article. So as you can see, you know, this is just a standard article, nothing special about it. But after I install this tool, I would expect to see some changes happen to the interface. All right. So I, um, I go to my command.js page and then I add the code. So I already copied the code somewhere. Um, okay. Second one I want to install is um, it's a it's, it's it allows you to see the article you know the article quality. So some time ago, Aaron was working on the classifying Wikipedia articles and giving them some quality ratings, you know, based on whether they have external Wikilinks or, you know, internal Wikilinks, but articles, um, the length of the article based on the, whether it has categories or info boxes or so many other things. And then you use that information to sort of classify articles, that, you know, so um, those that satisfy all of those requirements that you had, you would grade them as A, B, C, all the way. So that script is this. Let's install that one too. I would usually just leave a, a space, not that it matters, but it's sort of keeps everything neat. And I import this. Let's add a comment so that we sort of know what we are importing. So a comment should, all right. Good. Publish this. Okay. So I can patch this page as well. So let's look at a random article to see if it has picked up with the, at least one of them. So you can see that um, we now see this appearing in all articles that we come across. 